Hello everyone, we will continue the topic new data browser and yes, we will explore more features of new data browser. Now I will go to SC16N. Now this is our SC16. If I will go to SC16, this is our SC16. Now. In case of SC16, what you did, if you want to add or hide the columns as a part of selection screen or input screen, what we did, we simply went to settings and we went for fields for selection. And if we want to hide, we will simply remove that checkbox and it will be hidden from there. Whenever we want to include, we can simply, simply include as a part of selection screen or input screen. Same thing is for the output. If I will execute, as of now, all columns are coming in the output. If I want to go for only selected columns in the output, but we did. We went to settings, formal list, choose fields. Suppose I will deselect and whatever the columns I will choose, that those will come in the output screen. As of now, you can see we have two columns data. Now in SC16N, it is very, very easy. We do not want to do anything. Now this is our selection criteria. Each and every column will be there. So there's nothing, there's no need that you will select or you will uh, hide or you will make visible, nothing. Each and every field will be there, suppose. As of now, our order header table has six columns, including MA and DT. So each and every column is here. Suppose I will go for VBAK table. So whatever the columns of VBAK table are there, each and every column is here. Each and every column is here. So there's no need. There's no need to hide. There's no need to make visible nothing because everything is available now. Next thing, suppose now in the output, if I will go to output, suppose this is VBAK. If I will go to output, yes, it is very difficult to see the data of all the columns, yes. So if you want to see the data of selected column, it is very easy. Have you seen? We have a checkbox here and this is the, what is the name of the column output. Suppose simply, simply you can deselect. You can deselect. So what you want? You want VBELN, ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNUM. In case of SC16, you are going for, suppose at that time you are going for formal list choose fields. Here nothing. By default, the checkbox is ticked. Yes, you can deselect and whatever the columns you want, you can select. If I will go to execute, you can see we are able to see the data of only four columns. So this is the way how we can go. Now, now same way in SC16, we studied that we can save these layouts. Yes, same way we can save the layouts in SC16 and also same to same features are available. Here we have a button. Here we have a button. Choose layout. Yes, suppose I want to save this layout. So I will click on to the save layout button. I will give some name to the layout. Suppose I'm saying layout one i will give the short description order layout and we already did this in sc16 these features are same in sc16 and 
and I always told you go for user specific layout so that it will be visible to you only. It is applicable to you only. I will go for user specific and we saved this particular layout. Suppose next time if I will go to SC16N, if I will go to VBAK table, you can see we are getting the data of all the columns, but we can choose that layout which we save. So I will go for this choose layout, choose layout. I can choose this particular layout and you can see we have four to four same to same column. I can change this layout also. Suppose I want to go for change layout. Now, as of now, we have four columns in the layout. Suppose I want to add SD document category. So I will simply move it to selected fields, displayed column. Now we have five displayed column. Okay. So we have five column data. I will save. Now I will simply, simply go to choose layout you can go for save. Now you can save into existing layout or you can create a new layout. I will go for OK. And yes, I am overriding this. Suppose if I will go to SC16N again, I will go for OK, execute. I will choose that particular layout and we will be able to see five columns. Same thing we started in through SC16 also. Now it is totally your wish. We added the column, this extra column to the existing layout. We can create a new layout also. Now, suppose if I want to delete this layout, or if I want to make any lay make this layout as default. So what you can do, you can simply, simply go to manage layout. Suppose I want to make this layout as default. So I will simply select this. I will go for save. So this five column layout is default now. So whenever I will run, I will get the default layout. Previously, all column data were appearing for the first time. Now we are getting the data of those five columns only because I saved this as a default layout. I can delete the layout also. So you can simply, simply go to choose layout, manage layout, and you can delete this layout also whatever the layout you created. So it is totally your wish. Managing is also in your hands. Now, if I will go to execute, now that particular layout which we created is deleted now. Now, next thing. If you remember in SC16, by default, we have number of entries is 200 maximum number of hits is 200 in case of sc 16 n we have the by default number of hits is 500 we can change suppose i want to go for suppose i'm simply simply executing so you are only only able to see 500 records table has less than 500 entries table has 366 records. That's why we are able to see each and everything. Suppose, if I'm suppose, I'm just making maximum number of hits as 100. And suppose I'm passing, suppose document category is equal to C. Now I'm going for number of entries. You can see number of entries is 233 for document category C. But 
I gave the number of hits as 100. So if I will go to execute, I will be only only able to see 100 records. If you want to see all the records, just increase the maximum number of hits. Suppose if I will go for 300, now it will show me all the records because our current records is 233. I just click on to refresh button. Now it is showing me all the 233 records. So just whenever you are displaying, check at that time. Yes, what are the maximum number of hits at that point of time? Now, last thing, how we can copy the data of one column into another column? Yes, because in real projects, yes, we have the data. We have to find the relationship between the tables. Yes, based upon data. So how we will do that? Through SC60, we already started. Suppose how we will study through SC16 now. Suppose I will go to SC16N. This is our VBAK table. Suppose I'm going for sales document number, suppose 1 to 100. I will go to execute. So I have sales document number 1 to 100. How I will pass this sales document number 1 to 100 in the item table? Item table. VBAP is my item table. So how I can do? Yesterday, I showed you the shortcut. You can go for control Y. And you can simply, simply select. But whenever we are copying this much data, yes, sometimes all data is not copying at that point of time. So what I told you at that point of time, you can simply, simply export that data. You can export. Suppose I'm exporting in Excel format. Same thing we studied through SC16 also, but SC16N is widely used. That's why we are covering all those features through SC16N now. So we have order number 1 to 100. I will simply, simply control shift down arrow. I selected all the requirements all the values of sales document number. Now I will go to VBAP table. And this is real project. How we can check the number of entries in another table based upon the entries of first table. So I will go to SC16 N. How I will copy in SC16 N. If you remember in case of SC16, we simply, simply clicked on to this multiple selection button and we copied. If I will show you SC16 for VBAK, you simply clicked here and you copied. How you will do here? Here we have a more button. I will just change it to VBAP. Now we will go for more. And we have an option of paste. And you can see we are able to see number of selection criteria 100. It means we are able to successfully copy all the 100 values of sales document number. Now once I will execute. So for sales document number 1 to 100 of VBAK table, we are getting this much data into VBAP table. So what is the summary of the video? Yes, again, in this video, we studied so many features, but now in SC16N, we saw how do you can change the layout, how you can save the layout, how you can manage the layout. Yes how you can go for the selected columns in the output 
it is very easy in SC16 and you can simply deselect and you can select whatever the columns are required. But every column is on the selection screen. So there's nothing that we have to select or deselect something. So we covered then after that, yes, if you want to copy that data of one column and you want to, if you want to copy the data of one column and you want to pass it to another table, you can simply, simply click on to more button and you can paste that data. But yes, whenever you are copying, not all data will be copied many times. So always export, you can copy from Excel and you can paste. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.